What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Laura. I want to welcome you to my channel. If you enjoy it, please consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. Now you can already tell by the title of this video that I have some very exciting news and yes indeed, I am opening a gym. If you already follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you already know this, I already shared it on there and I just want to say thank you to everyone who's reached out with their support and just enthusiasm. It really took my excitement to the next level, but I couldn't wait to share it with my YouTube family any longer. And this is like why I love this YouTube platform because I'm able to elaborate more than just posting a photo with a caption. I'm kind of able to document it and if you fo followed any of my travel series, I love looking back at those videos just for myself and I'm just so thankful to have those videos and to document those memories. Opening this gym, I wanted to do the same thing. So all along since deciding to open, I have been taking little clips, not really knowing what I was going to do with those clips, but my actually, my current boss, he told me, take as many photos as you can. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna start taking little video clips of like raw emotions of what's going on and figure out how I'm going to share this with you guys. Before I dive into a lot of detail about opening the gym and all the super fun details that goes along with that, I just kind of wanted to give a little bit of a background, kind of like what I've been through over the past three years that have kind of brought me to where I am, especially for people who are new subscribers. I'm gonna go back pretty far, but I'm going to try to move it along pretty quickly. So kind of like a Cliff Snow Cliff Snotes version, I guess you could say. Back in 2012, yep, we're going there. I graduated from the University of New Brunswick here in Fredericton. So I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology. And after I graduated, my boyfriend and I at the time, who I'm still with, we decided to move to Vancouver. So complete opposite coast of the country. And we were like, let's just go for a year. No really plans, nowhere to live, no job. And we just fell in love with it out there and we ended up staying for five years. Now, while I was there, I got really involved in health and fitness. I started a blog. I competed seven times in um, like bikini bodybuilding competitions. And while I was there, I became a personal trainer. I took the course and I started a small business out there. I didn't really thrive. I wouldn't say that I had like a clear plan or vision of what I wanted of that company. We decided to move back to New Brunswick at the beginning of 2017. We had been there five years. We just said it's time to be closer to family and friends. That's a question I get a lot. Why did you move back? And we're both from the East Coast. We never had like lifelong plans of staying in Vancouver. And before we moved back, we spent two months traveling and I documented both of those months on my YouTube channel. So we did a month in Mexico followed by a month in Costa Rica. That was just an incredible time in my life. No regrets, so happy I did that. And then we we moved home and again, we didn't really have plans or what we were going to do. Like I figured I would, I would go back into personal training. I had actually closed my business out there. But I guess that year, like for the remainder of 2017, I didn't really realize how much leaving my life there that I had created over five years, the, my friends, like I've, I met some of the best people I've ever met in my whole life there that became my friends. And I'm like gonna get emotional like talking about it, but like to just kind of leave them behind and that our whole lifestyle, like we really grew as a couple out there too. To just leave all that, I was not prepared for the total shift in lifestyle, like moving from a massive city to a small city, coast to coast. It's just, I, I, I didn't foresee it being kind of difficult, I guess. Um, and it's kind of taken me this long to realize that it, it was it was hard and I, I do miss it. Like people ask me all the time, do you miss Vancouver? Absolutely, like I loved it there, but I also love my family. It's, it's really, it's hard. So anyway, moving on from that, again, I was just kind of like, I guess doing some like soul searching of like what I would 
do for a job here. I started personal training a little bit and um, there was an incident that happened that I'm really not going to get into, but it left a really bad taste in my mouth with the fitness industry. I felt personally attacked. Anyways, it's, it's water in the bridge, it's in the past, but this incident happened and I was like, turned off from wanting to do fitness. So I started researching a lot of different professions that I might be interested in. And, and then I, I went back to school, it's super ironic because I went back to the UBC Sauter School of Business to do real estate appraising. And I did two semesters of that and the first semester was a lot of like economics and business related courses, which I actually found really interesting. And I did find the program really interesting and I still do think that profession is very interesting. Like I learned so much about it. But one day I actually job shadowed, super thankful for the opportunity to, to job shadow. And I remember sitting in the office and just being like, I, cannot see myself doing this for the rest of my life. Like nothing against that profession. Like I was just like thinking like I am meant to be in the fitness industry. I am meant to be on my feet, helping people interact like that. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, I, I just remember sitting in that office that day being like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, and just to back it up a little bit, like I remember studying for my exams, always thinking like, of gym ideas and how to open a gym and and during that same time of like studying I started writing a business plan to open a gym. <laughs> it's one of those things where I can like honestly say I just had this gut feeling and I followed my gut or my heart or whatever you want to call it. I started taking on clients in my building gym. So the building that I live in, there was a gym in it and I got permission and I started accepting clients. It just got too busy that they were like, look, you can't run a business out of our building anymore. So I said, you know, fair enough. I rented a small space. I wanna say it was like maybe 500 square feet. It was tiny for about three months and then that building sold so it was like my clients were just following me around from gym to gym from small gym to small gym so i was like you know what we gotta make this happen because i was writing the business plan it was more of like a dream in my head but like everything was pushing me to open this gym okay so i hope i haven't babbled too much or lost your attention to this point but um that's all i'm gonna say about like kind of bringing everyone up to speed to where I am now. So for the rest of this video, I'm gonna share how it came to that I found the space that I have at least. It was such a process you're gonna see from this video. You guys, so I just wanted to give you a little update. It's Thursday, November 1st. I've looked at, I don't even know how many spaces I've looked at at this point and it's, been so frustrating. If I've learned anything in this process, it's that you have to be patient and um, talk to people and get advice from people and make connections. So just a little update. Today is uh, November 13th and we just got in from looking at a space. So just a little history. I've looked at countless spaces. I've almost signed a lease at two of them and they've fallen through. And then today I've uh, gone back to this space three times. So today I was all ready to sign the lease and we tested out slamming some medicine balls and the people, cause this one was on the second floor and the people below just were like, no, this is not gonna work. So super frustrating day. Now it's just back to the drawing board, back into looking for spaces, kind of affects the whole business plan. So I just wanna share that it's like, <laughs> there's so many frustrating days and they just like, yeah, like I could cry today. I'm so frustrated because I thought everything was like good to go because like I said, it's November 13th. I really wanted to open for January 1st, 2019. And like, as the days go by, it's just, it's feeling like more unattainable. I mean, obviously I want to open January 1st because that's when people are like jumping on fitness trains and stuff. But at the same time, I don't want to rush anything and I want it to be really good when we do open. Yeah, today was not a good day. <laughs> anyway, so now we just start looking again and I drove up and down the streets of Fredericton downtown today and 
just doesn't seem to be anything out there right now. So we'll keep looking. During the same time that I was looking at these places, I started working with Ginger Design to help get my brand vision out of my head and onto paper. Today and is January 18th, 2019, and I wanna show you something really exciting. So I've been working with Ginger Design and we've been going back and forth with some concepts and I am just deciding on the final one. So here's the name and the logo. And these are some concepts of what it could look like on things. So I'm super excited. We've gone through like three rounds of revisions and this is my final pick. I also might be signing the lease today. So everything is finally coming together. I'm so excited. So now it's January 23rd. I just had a phone call with the contractor for the space that I was gonna go into. And it's an old building and it's proving to be the biggest pain in my ass. So I'm just trying to take all these really like real and raw clips because I was literally just crying. <laughs> because I'm just seriously so frustrated with trying to find this space. And I know that good like good things take time and I need to be patient and it's a, obviously a big investment but it's just like so frustrating like I want this to happen so bad like we're almost at the end of January and like my plans were to have this open like at the beginning of January this is just as real as it gets right now anyway and yes my spare bedroom slash office is full of jib equipment just ready to go to its new home what is up you guys today is a good day see this right here i just signed the key for my first lease for the gym i'm so excited so it's official i feel like i've been looking for six months and i just can't believe this day is finally here it feels overwhelming i'm so excited um and now I just feel like everything's gonna happen so fastly and it's just gonna get really busy, but I'm so happy this is finally going. So it's February 7th and I just wanted to update you. So that's kind of where I'm going to leave this video because I'm scared it's gonna be too long. But if you would like to see a second episode of me opening a gym, something that you'll see in the next video, if you guys want it, the space reveals. So the space before I've done any work to it. So if you are following me on Instagram, you'll see that I have started some construction. I am just ecstatic. I can't believe this is finally happening. I totally, in. So like, I don't want people to get the wrong idea that I'm, I miss Vancouver because I do miss it, but I'm so happy to be home and definitely being in my hometown and opening a business is just so exciting. And the support of people has just been overwhelming. So if you enjoyed this video, if you're excited about this potential series, give the video a thumbs up because that will let me know that you like it. Subscribe so you don't miss updates or notifications when I upload a new video. Comment below, let me know if you want me to do a new series. Also, if you want to subscribe for updates for the gym, I'll be sending out newsletters for packages and anything that's upcoming with it. So you can just go to the website, it'll be in the first link in the description box and you can subscribe there. And just thank you, love you guys. See you next Thursday.